just kind of shoehorned in and really unnecessary. They kind of wish that there just weren't any on foot segments. Those all space combat. Um, I'll be back at. And I do kind of agree that like uh, the corner him. Come on, corner him. The uh, the on foot segments seem a little out of place, I guess. Um, but I really think it's just they need to be implemented a little bit better. Like you need a little bit more. Um, I don't know, a few more abilities to use while you're on those on foot missions, you know? Uh, no! No! <laughs> pretty much the only real gameplay that it entails is just finding the right robot to turn into and clicking on something, you know? Um, and I think that's where it falls a little flat. But I'm very thankful they do have those missions to help break up the space combat because I feel like this space combat could get very monotonous very quickly if it's just blow things up, race things, blow things up, race things, blow things up, race things. So I appreciate that with the ground missions, they were trying to add a little bit of variety. I think that's a really good move. I think that's a very necessary no, move. No! Um, it just, it of course, would have been nicer if they could have made it a little bit more compelling. All right, only three cops to go, so this should be the last squad. Unit three. Getting more and more money for each squad that I destroy. I wonder if this is like uh, in Grand Theft Auto, where uh, not Grand Theft Auto, um, Saints Row, where uh, if you keep on destroying uh, law enforcement, that like they keep on stepping up the game, eventually sending SWAT teams and the military and stuff like that. If you corner him, come on, corner him. Bang, good man. Now free from the police, then leave the ship on the platform indicated on your radar and call me. All right. Uh, that platform is over here. Get rid of the police before using the communicator. Oh. Call me from the communicator now! Well, did I get rid of the police? Call me once the alarm is stopped! Oh. Well, you just said to call me now. Well, how do I, uh... I don't need the alarm to stop. Now, when you say flee from fleas, do you mean actually flee, or do I need to destroy this last cop that's following me? Apparently you've not tracked me down. I've stolen the plans to the ship, the ship itself, and I've beaten 20 cops. Stop bugging me and tell me what you know about the third clue. The crew had hidden aboard an undercover freight ship. The police use these ships for an illegal traffic of mercury, and they're indestructible. So there's no point in attacking them. Well, I'm going now. I'm very busy. Thanks for the mayor shipping. <laughs> but you promised that... What a traitor. You can't trust these messengers. He didn't tell you that the transport was indestructible until you had given him the mayor's gunship. He's got some nerve. Now what? Attacking the freight ships is no use. Not so fast. Mercenaries have developed a new weapon. It uses antimatter projectiles that can pierce through anything. I'm sure you can destroy them with this weapon. How can I get the weapon? Steal the plans and then build the weapon at Rusty's. Go to the gambling joint and get the mercenaries to tell you where they hid the plans. Alright, the gambling joint it is.